This is What You Should Know About Gum Disease, Part 1. I'm Dave Snape. I'm going to start with the reader's praise, which you'll find in the inside cover of the book. We'll start with uh, Dr. Wint, who happens to be my own periodontist. And if you're ever in Overland Park, Kansas, he is one of the best dentists I've ever met and a fantastic guy. And he writes, and he took this book with him on vacation and read it and called me when he got back to tell me that he liked this book. But here's what he wrote for the inside cover of the book. I love this book. It's a great resource for those interested in improving or achieving periodontal health. Stan Wint, DDS periodontist. Uh, another doctor friend of mine, Ellie Phillips. David speaks for thousands of compliant patients who visit dental professionals regularly. These people follow directions, use recommended products, yet never reach the conclusion of their treatment plan. Is oral health beyond control? Is damage caused by insufficient care? David shines a bright light on these concerns. Read, enjoy, and start to question authority. Ellie Phillips, DDS. Ellie's website is ellies.com. She sells a full line of xylitol, which we talk about in this book as well. And the next endorsement is from Hilary Yasmin Shemin, who is a registered hygienist, graduated in 1974 in Holland, PA. And she says, David Snape saves. He may save teeth, money, time, and pain, but most importantly, he may save lives. Now that links have been established between the infection of chronic periodontal disease and many systemic illnesses like diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and low-weight preterm birth, his words are invaluable. Dave's new guide, What You Should Know About Gum Disease, is a great layman's handbook about how to care for your teeth and gums. He has thoroughly researched gum disease and has written an easy-to-read guide for people to help themselves, yet gives balance to the need for professional care. This book is a must-read for people who are afraid to go to the dentist, people in underserved areas, or those who just can't afford professional dental services. Dave makes the reader aware of the signs of gum disease and what they can do to help themselves. The next inside cover endorsement is from John Corso, medical doctor and author of a book called Stupid Reasons People Die, which happens to be a very good book. And Dr. Corso has a lot to do with this book being written, written because I originally wrote a few pages for his book launch, and those few pages then turned into 60 and then turned into a full-length book over time. So John Corso helped inspire this book, even though he probably isn't fully aware of that. Great guy, and his book again is Stupid Reasons People Die. And here's what he has to say about my book, What You Should Know About Gum Disease. David Snape really gets it. Only you, the individual, can keep yourself from slipping through the many cracks in our well-meaning but overly generic healthcare system. Perhaps not glamorous enough to command constant media coverage, periodontal disease nonetheless has far-reaching health implications for every individual, affecting both quality of life and longevity. Drawing from his own in-depth experience and knowledge on the subject, Snape enables his reader to go easily beyond the minimal preventive care offered to most Americans. The results will empower his readers to take charge of this vital, yet often ignored aspect of good health and well-being. I only wish I had this book 20 years and several lost teeth ago. John Corso, MD, author of Stupid Reasons People Die. And finally, Dr. Tammy Adams, DO board certified in internal medicine, and she writes, The book is wonderful and very informative. It's down to earth in layperson language and gives direction where one can begin searching for dental health and improving overall periodontal care. Dr. Tammy Adams. Those were the inside endorsements, and we will move on to part two in the next video. Shen Yun is a high-quality show coming to a city near you. I highly recommend it. Look for it, see it, enjoy it. Shen Yun.